is this thing on? Looks like it might be. There we go. A little bit of echo. Okay. Should be recording as well. Hopefully I have enough room. Good. I am going to start. Today I'm going to be installing Doom Infinite. Doing a couple of runs of that. I've played it before, but on a laptop, so I'm going to have to copy across my progress, which I will do after the tutorial. So to get it, you just um, just Google search Doom Infinite. It'll be the top result. There should be a, um, if you go to files, there's the download, but there's also this companion book, which I'll grab as well. Let's get this first. Come on, there we go. Um, with a new folder for Doom Infant. Check it there. And we'll get the companion book as well. This is not what I want. I want to download it. Okay. Now if we go to downloads, Doom Infinite, I'm actually going to just load this up in here because we're going to have to refer to it a bit. As we go along, at the beginning, there's stuff about what you need. We're going to have to download this GZ Doom engine. So we'll grab that now. It's GZ Doom. It comes up under Z Doom, but that's like a says it discontinued in 2016. GZ Doom's a new one. Um, there's a, a slight problem with the latest version, this 4.12. Like it, it doesn't quite work super well with Doom Infinite, so I'm going to go to Archive, Bin for Binary, and Order by Date, and I'm going to grab this 4.11 for Windows. Apparently that one works quite well still. And the final thing that you need, so we, we visited ZDoom, We've got that. We need to unpack it. This doom2.wad file we need to get. You can find it online, but I'm going I have I already I've bought Doom 2, so I can go to Steam and Doom. Now the version's got a little bit weird. Doom 2, I suspect, I, I don't think it's there anymore. If I go to this, the page, yeah, you, you can no longer buy just Doom 2 on its own. You need to get this Doom Plus Doom 2, which is still available. So I'm going to install that. It's a little bit silly downloading a gigabyte for a single file. But we'll do it anyway. Now I think this is actually implemented in a new engine. It's not actually the original Doom 2. But we're not going to be running it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to right click on it, go manage, browse local files. And hopefully in here, there should be a doom2.wad. There we go. That's the one we want. Here's my downloads. I'm just going to copy that across. Now, what, how does this actually work? DOSBox. Well, maybe it is the original if you're using DOSBox. Or is this just a re-release? 
maybe maybe this runs the re release and they've just included the old ones for people who want to have the dos box plus old experience um i wonder if i can do something weird here i'm going to see what it does ah, okay so you can launch the dos version Yeah, I'm gonna try something a little bit interesting here. Cause I, I like launching my games through Steam. And if I could make this launch cheesy do, that could be quite fun. Anyway, let's start by opening up C games, which is where I usually chuck all my games. I'm gonna chuck Jeezy Doom here. I don't know if it makes its own folder. Probably will. No, it didn't. Uh, no, leave it, leave it. It's fine. Jeezy Doom stuff. I'm going to extract Doom Infinite into it. Is that the so two warden as well? And now, in theory, that should work. Drag and drop Doom Infinite onto GZ Doom to start the game. Let's give it a go. This is not how I want to be running it, though. Ooh, that's very loud. It's very, very loud. Should probably be okay because I've told OBS to chill. Are you going to run? Ow. Okay. That is very, very loud. Um. No, I'm not in a... Oh, fuck, I did it the wrong way around. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I just need to turn off the sound. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Ooh. That was a little bit rough. Um, now, I have probably hosed my settings by saying yes to being on a mobile device. <laughs> Whoops, I panicked. <laughs> um, it's my volume mixer. Can I just. Ooh, okay. Okay. It works. I'm going to quit. Now we need to find where that save, where the, the settings are saved. Usually in places like this. Z Doom. Okay, no, that's not what we want. Uh, dick modified. Temp. Nope. 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 Where did you put it? Is he doing? I know there's one on my desktop. So that's the one that I copied across from my laptop. But there should be another one. Oh, that was rough. Um, let's check the Discord. Documents my games. Okay, we'll, we'll look there. My games, there we go. Okay. You can stop searching. 
I'm just going to delete that. Which is going to fix the volume again. But that's okay, I now have this volume mixer open, so I should be able to show it quickly. Let's try that again. Hopefully it asks us the mobile question again. Okay. Are you playing on a mobile device? No. Good. Good. Let's go options. I would like the audio to come through a little bit. I wonder how loud that actually is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to the stream. Let's see. Well, that's not too bad at all. That's fine. It is also. softer for me and then make it louder here why does it keep muting when I I shouldn't be doing this I should be going start to show that if you go to the side here there's this nerdy imp dude who tells you what settings you need to fix And one of them is the simple options menu is on. So you go options, full options menu, simple options menu. This will keep all of the options visible all the time, which is what you want. I want this to not, I have a sun. That's what I want. Okay, let's, let's attempt to fix some of these. Green wipe, auto save. A lot of the time you just go option search to find this stuff. Wipe. Green wipe. Done. Uh, to save. This is going to be too much stuff. Options miscellaneous. Number of auto saves should be one. I think that's the only problem. Bad auto set settings. Set to scripts only. So scripts only. Cool. Crosshair. Ah. I like the circle. Let's go over here. Uh, let's go with white. Oops. No. Scale cross here. Let's just leave that at one. That should be fine. Texture filtering. Yep. Okay, you can see how this, this dude's blurry. I want to go filtering none. There you go. Now he's nice and blocky. Screen size is too low. Set screen 
blocks to the liver. I don't even know what this is. Set screen blocks to live in press the plus key. Oh, too low. Oh, too high. Alright, wrong aspect ratio. Some options to match your screen size. Try using 16.9. It's not. I think I'm 1610. Check. Good to go. Excellent. So now we start a new run. I should. Maybe have made a note of that so I can timestamp it in the video, but I'll figure it out. So this is the tutorial. It's not terribly hard, but some people, there's a bit at the end that's a little bit tricky. An important thing to note, you can punch the candles. Very important. It's a skill we'll be using later. Open this. Now this is a fancy, fancy shotgun. You're not going to see a nice shotgun like that. Probably for a while when you actually play. So that's the modding key. Oh, the door has opened and there's a bad guy. But yeah, you, you can pick up these mod packs that let you adjust the guns. It's a little difficult for me to, I don't have a cursor when I'm doing that. Um, is there a way that I can... Then I can get a cursor. So, options, display options, hardware render. Or something. Anyway, we don't have any packs, so we can't actually load that gun right now. Yeah, 
keep going. There's this green exclamation mark and some green text at the bottom that tells you where to go. So, yeah, open this big gate, press E. Destroy the upgrade chest. It's quite dark down there, turn the flashlight on. Right, mouse right, there we go. This, this flashlight is not like a built-in thing. You need to have a gun that has alt fire flashlight. You can see it down there at the bottom in the middle. Alt fire air flight. So when you're playing, you're probably not going to have a flashlight ever. See, I've only got 14 bullets, so I'm not going to shoot this open. I'm just going to punch it open. And bad guys should spawn. Yes, there we go. And the idea is you're meant to use your special ability F. I can go. Oof. The cooldown for it is on the right side there. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm just going to shoot these. Oh, what am I going? Alright, I think that's it. No, it's not it. Oh, I got two with one there. I think that's it. There is. Oh, back. I'm glad I went there. Okay. Uh, I guess here you have to drop down. Some shells. Turn on the flashlight. Uh, now here's the first place people get stuck. You fall down this hole. Looks like there's nowhere to go. But this game has introduced destructible terrain. And you have to smash that open. This is the catacombs. Do I get a mini map? I don't get a mini map. Of course I don't. Oh, there's an invisible guy. Ow. Ooh. Spooky. I think these change as you go through, which can be a little spooky. Yeah, you can hear walls opening and closing behind me. Ah, 
think I know this part. Yes, there is a, a rather large guy over there with a regeneration aura. I don't know if you can kill him. I tried for a bit, but I'm not very good at the game, so he kind of just hit me. I mean, you have infinite shells, and you have this ability that chucks a thing. But you know what? I'm just going to leave him. Not every fight needs to be won. Sometimes it's better to run away. I am running away. So I don't need that. Uh, okay, I know this part as well. Okay, there is this wall here that needs 30 souls to open. And you get souls by killing bad guys. You can see them in the top right corner there. It says 18 at the moment. That's from those imps that I killed and the invisible pinky. I open this. Some dudes should spawn. Boom. Now I'm on 20, that goes with 2. I think the, the bigger they are, the more souls they're worth. Ow. That hurt quite a bit. Yeah, and we got 30. And I'm going to pick up some help. There is stuff around, like this game has a lot of exploring opportunities. I'm not going to bother getting everything. So now when I push use against this, it shatters and lets me through. Ah, this part. This part is where we were going to use that little trick with the candles because you go around in circles. I think there's like two areas. So I, I came out of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out those two candles, and I'm going to take out the one on the right. So I came out of the one with two dead candles, and on the right is one dead candle. So if I go through here, you'll see it's the exact same place. Those two are gone, that's gone. So going straight ahead doesn't help me. Let's try going right. Going right has taken me to the same place. So going straight ahead and going right is essentially the same thing. You end up coming out here. Let's try left. And left is where the button is. So now I guess I go back through here. Yep. And the wall that was here is now open. And that's the tutorial done. This is Limbo. This is where you start every run in the base game. You come forward, there's this chest, and on the side there's a pickup. It's usually, it's a weapon at the beginning, I think, and then it's usually just ammo or something. Something less exciting. I don't know what either of these are, but this looks like a bullet, so we're taking it. Void bullet, infinite ammo. Now you can you can hit escape, go to guide, and check out the codex to find out about things. We've already picked up this regenerating shells thing during the tutorial. And now we've just picked up void bullet. When out of ammo, you have a chance to refill some of your ammo. Okay. Not super useful, but better than nothing. This is a shield pistol. We'll grab that. So, 
This thing had a torch on right click. This pistol is going to have a shield on right click. I don't know how good that is. I can't shoot while it's up. Oh, I can't use it anymore. I think it used cells. Anyway, when you're ready to start a run, you run through that portal. You can see a... Right. This is kind of important if you want to stop a run. You can save during these loading screens, but not during a game. There's usually a little... Yeah, this um, icon at the bottom, that flashing disk, says that you can save here. So I could hit escape and I could quit and come back, and it would dump me here at level 1. I'm not going to grab any of the secrets here, because I don't want to give too many spoilers about the map and stuff. Once I'm done with this run, I'm going to copy across my INI file, and then I'll do some slightly more Spoiler filled runs. Oops, no, I did that button. Oh boy, hello. You are larger than expected. Could you not? It's telling me to push this button. I already have pushed this button. Oh, hello. I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me here. I could leave this guy behind. But I'm not going to. So every map, you see that exit is open on the left hand side? Every map you have to get a certain number of kills, or a certain number of souls. before you can even exit the map. And that message pops up because I now have 50 souls and can leave. You do need to check behind you occasionally because things do keep spawning. Oh, he fired a grenade. That's a little bit rude. They do this little red spawning in animation. Oh boy. That is the guy that I don't really want to be fighting right now. You see this guy came from behind us. Ooh. So I'm actually gonna switch shotguns. This piercing one? I, I think the purging ammo is better. Of infrared. Like this real rough, high damage, but short range yellow stuff. It's really, really good. I'm... I was just going to cancel off each one, but I think that's quite, quite a nice gun. And we're back here. So this place has a lot of randomly generated side passages that you can explore through. Um, and there's also these walls that you can spend souls to open. I have 92 souls, that takes 100, so I can't actually open it, but... The artifacts, I think that just gives you a chance of getting the same... Uh, power-ups you already have. So now I don't get a gun, I just get this suit. I know, I've somehow picked up one mod pack. If you look in the bottom left, there's a 
the one. And if I open the mod pack menu, you can see in the top right there's a one next to the thing. Fortunately, it takes two to get anything, but maybe we'll if it'll get enough. Oh, this shotgun's so good. Oh boy. I don't want to look at that. But first, I'm clear these out. Oh, hello. Charge. What does charge do? Charge is fire mode. First charge. I don't actually know what charge does. Let's check the guidebook. Weapons types of fire. Does it not include the fire modes? <laughs> Marines home. No. Goodness knows what it does. Oh shit. Oh okay, it gets faster and faster as you hold down. That's fair enough, and also a little bit cool. Oh my goodness, my health. I have picked up a second mod pack, so I'm going to go to the chain gun, and this is the single best use of two points, is to increase the number of shots for your chain gun to two. Just basically doubles the damage. But for now, I need to get some health. Let's go invisible. stuck. Hello. Ah, you have to stand there. How do we get to that blue sphere? Oops. Yeah, so now when I click, you should be able to see two separate bullet holes. It still only uses one ammo. It is very good. This purple stuff slows down your movement speed, it is not good. And I'm getting a lot of special weapons in this run. You don't usually get this many. That seems no critical legendary. No, I didn't. Oh, I, you always stuff that up. You meant to stand on first. Does this hurt me? It does. Oh. Damn it. 
I'm gonna stop using that because that's just making my life difficult. Um, yeah, okay, that doesn't actually work that well. Ooh. This is not going super smoothly. GG. And then you do another run. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over my progress. Because there is some meta progression. Let's see. This is. This is the one for my laptop. I copy it here. Place. I'll just keep running it like this. Yeah, I was playing it in windowed. So let's fix up these settings. Full screen. Speed ratio should be 1610. So this is excessive. My monitor is terrible, so I'm just gonna that. I don't think I need to do this. I'm gonna do it anyway. What does the imp say? My aspect ratio. It shouldn't be said correctly. No, that. Okay. He's happy. Alright. Now I'm going to do actual spoilers. So you can do left and right click to smash these. That thing shoots stuff for me. This is a pretty good pistol to start. I've already opened these two doors. The main thing you want to be doing is you want to be going through here. And here there are two red doors. The, the green ones, if you open them, they stay... Oh, oh is it purple? I think it might be purple. The purple ones stay open when you open them. The red ones you have to reopen every time you go to Limbo. So you want to have 100 souls after each map to open these two doors. Because that gives you the infinity runes. And you need those to open the more advanced doors, one of which is up here. And this is a shop where you can buy stuff. And you need two runes. I've got one, I need one more. Then I'll be able to use that, and apparently that helps a lot. So let's go. We need to get enough runes to open the exit, and then an extra 100. Yeah, salts. Enough salts to open the exit. So I need 150 on this map. Just use shotgun. Mm. 
Maybe there's a machine gunner. That will help. You go there. Oh, that's a mod pack that just spawned. Nice. Okay. But I just need to make things a lot easier. See that? That's a trap. Make launcher. We should also be checking walls for little crack textures, which I have not been doing. And another trap. Just to push the two buttons. Stupid things, ouch. Oops. So one of the buttons I think is put at the back. The other one, I think, it's a teleporter, right? I want that, I don't want the shotgun shells. Back here. Yeah, it's a teleporter here now. It takes you to an underground area. That. And there's a gun in here. That's my rifle, that's actually kind of handy. to get a grenade launcher. Go through here. There's two buttons here. That one lowers that. This one you can only go into once. Just gives you some stuff. Red door we can open because of one of the secrets we got earlier. Now that auto map is quite useful because it tells us where secrets are. That S back there, I think if I'm reading the map correctly, is back this way. Through here and against the wall there or here. This map is annoying. No, it's not. It's further along. Here? There. That's it. The first order map it gives you the normal secret. The second one gives you the good secret that gives you infinity beams and stuff. So that was kinda anticlimactic, but that's fine. Worth grabbing it anyway. This dude. Someone behind me. I hate those things, they take so much to kill.
Yeah. Still missing one of those crack textures. I would quite like to get it. Not that much. And I have 150 souls, so I can exit. Ooh, okay, sometimes you get these end of level things. Ooh, you get something extra. Oh. I think that's an infinity rune. I think I just got really lucky. It's red. No, it's not. I was really excited. Oh well. Now you get another chest. So another item. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to do these two challenge rooms. This is one where bad guys spawn and you just have to kill them. It's not too bad. I have quite a lot of ammo, so I should be fine. There's stuff spawning on the other side as well. Don't stand on there, because I think you can get teddy fragged. It's terrible. Oh, that... Yeah, so these rooms are good. That's five mod packs in there. Which is going to do a great job of improving my damage output. So you definitely want to do these rooms if you can. So this one's gone dark, I think that means it's done. And it has also killed all of the enemies. And we get five mod packs, which I'm going to chuck into the chain gun, I think. I could change the arrow type. You can unlock more of these. But I think number of shots is going to be what I want. Dropping the fire rate is also pretty good, but I'm just going to get two of those. So it now shoots three bullets per click. So that's getting very good. Try the other one. My health is a little bit low. You can't go back into these as well. So you can't run out to heal or whatever. This one, this one, I think it's better, to, it's best to just drop to the bottom, get the thing, I don't know what that is, I want to look, double barrel, it's a chance to shoot twice at the same time without consuming additional ammo, okay, so that sounds quite nice, what health, and now, we see whether or not I can make it up to the top without dying. I am not convinced I'll be able to, but we'll see. This is a bit where it gets thin, and another bit where it gets thin later on. Oh, hello. You are large. Here, I think there's a hole here on the side. And then up at the top, 
is this. And some much needed help. And I'm not even gonna bother with those other guys. We're done. Here's a map, so I can see that there's not much else here. It looks like there's something here. Yes, you don't. I think should have been. Oh, acid. What is going on in here? Should be following the instructions. This is the start. Let's follow the arrow. Ow. I need to get boots. Yeah, so the weapons are random, which is why there's like a little pistol sitting on a pedestal. And really it doesn't deserve to be on a pedestal. Oh, hello. What? Did he teleport or is he invisible? Oh, there was a trap. I'm not going to pick that up. Oh boy. 
This is really intense. Open this door. What was that? Okay, that's good. I don't really want to walk with this stuff. There, that was that was not a good move. Oh, that health saved me. Oh boy, watch it. Wow. Okay. Saved. What is? It looks like something sucked me in there. These towers shoot homing missiles at you when you kill them. This level is confusing shit out of me. Fuck. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. It is completely unnecessary. Some of these are really bad. You check what they do beforehand. Like, I shouldn't have picked that up. That thing's half my max health. When it loses all of its charges, it grants you a something boost to one of your stats. Why is this. I think I've stuffed up my... Why now? Oh well. Sort it out later. Yeah, you can peek through these to see what it is as well. So this is this one spawner in the middle. And you just have to kill monsters. I don't know how that happens. Oh, if you have a good enough gun, you can stand there and just kill them as they come out. I do not. Goodness, that guy. It's causing all sorts of trouble. He's spawned in so many of these skulls. So that guy with a ring, he's like a vacuum, he sucks you closer to him. It's not good.
Ow, I did not even see that. This is getting a little bit intense. So that green aura means that he regenerates health. And it's a percentage of his HP. Ah, killed enough for them all to die. I should have read that first. Twisted Abomination. Shuffles around some of your stats. Oh no. Does it sound good at all? What has it done? I think it's it slowed me down a whole heap. But it's given me a little bit more luck. I think. Yeah, I'm quite slow now. This is walking. This is running. That is gonna suck. Oh god, this one. This is like the worst place to be slow on because it's constant homing missiles. I actually have to leave. I can't do this. I'm gonna die if I stay in here. Oof. Oh boy, this is this is unpleasant. Hopefully, I get something that'll speed me up a bit. The luck will help. The luck is good. E one in one. Good old faithful. Oh, there was a trap. It was unfortunate. They might want it. Why was there a shotgun blast up here? You can hit this to open that door there. Which gets me to this. And I think there's health down here. Oh, my max health is 80. Oh, that's from the Commander Keen thing. Wow, okay. Don't go away. This is tricky, because I don't know if I can even... Get away from it in time. I'm going to wait for that to clear. I don't want to push my luck. You can see the maps are slightly randomized. Stuff does move around a bit. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it gives you a choice. That's an infinity rune. Or armor. Hmm, I wonder. And this should be closed. Oh, it's not. The trigger there is broken. That's great. That lets me open up the shop. I think the shop uses souls as its currency. I'm going to lower them. Seems pushing me away. Even doing this. Get ammo. Yeah, it's invisible dudes and dudes making smoke. Oh no. Um this is not good.
Why are there so many of them spawning? What's going on? Let's go lucky. Let's uh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I'm just good. Health. I don't have any issues. This is not good. Ouch. Okay, good. That's that's very good. Slow movement is so bad. I could bail. I should bail. Should definitely exit the map. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. I missed a bunch of secret save, but that's okay. Because we are gonna open the shop. Is this thing shuffling my movement repeatedly? There was an eight. Explosive guts. I'm going to read what that does first. Demons explode upon death. I think that hurts you, so I'm going to not pick that up. Need to pick that up with a machine gun out. It only gives you ammo for the weapon you've currently got equipped. Yeah, anyway. The shop. I have two infinity rooms. Be right back. What do you mean, be right back? No, I need to buy ammo. Oh, you asshole. Okay, well, it should stay open. All I need to do is survive one more run. With no ammo. And halved health. Do I have any more mod packs? Did I pick any up? No, I did not. Oh god, I hate this map. Oh boy. Oh, then it's closed off. It's, it's not good. Remember for that. That. Oh god. Okay, hello. No, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Good little gun drone. You're my only hope. Ouch. I want that. I think if I stand here it opens, yes. You know, I've messed up my UI somewhere. I can't see my ammo.
Yeah, and I busted something. That was a trap. Ouch. I am so dead. I have got no hope. Just have not been getting enough ammo. Who shot me? Oh. Oh, wow. Not dead yet. Yes, Emma. No, too late. It's too late. Ugh. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there, just so that I have a video to put up on YouTube. Let's put... Okay, stop. And stop.